Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee. I am so excited to bring you this tutorial. But before I get started, I do want to show you how I did my scarf because I know someone is thinking it or they're going to comment in the comment section. I do have a few um, head wrap tutorials, but since I know someone's going to ask, I'm going to show you. And I just tied the front two section, I mean two pieces. And so this middle flap, I leave hanging, but I tie this one more time, just so it's secure. And I just pull it back, but I pull it back loosely. And then I take these two flaps and tie a knot loosely on top of the center flap. I just tie them randomly, however, loosely. And I'll just tuck these under more puffy and shape it however I want. Now that we have that elephant out of the room, <laughs> let's get into the actual tutorial. I used TGIM products and I'll list the products right here, um, but I use those products for my wash day and for styling. I have my hanging Bantu knot on here and I can show you how I did it. Hopefully you guys can see. But basically for a hanging Bantu knot, once you do your two strand twist, you're gonna hold it about here, and then you're gonna twirl it around into a knot, into a bantu. And it should stay, especially if you don't have freshly trimmed hair. A lot of people tell me they don't know how to do it, but my ends are more like tapered, so they're not as thick at the bottom as it is throughout the rest of my hair. So because it's going to like a, a angle, it's really easy for me to keep my bantu knots hanging, I mean, together at the end. Um, so yeah, so if you recently got a fresh cut, maybe it's not working out for you, and that's why, because your hair is probably too straight across for it to really, you know, do that bantu knot at the end. But anyway, um, so yeah, so we use TGI in products, but for when I retwisted my hair, I did, I did use their Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. <laughs> Check out my latest tutorial using TGIN, and I also have a coupon code for you, TGINYR, to get 5% off. And then I use Lot of Body Coconut and Shea Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. <laughs> I absolutely love Lot of Body products for styling. Like, I have been completely obsessed with them. And honestly, I like to use their styling milk, I think it's called. It's some kind, it's another product I like. And I usually use those for my styling. Before my Lot of Body products, I was using the Carol's Darter styling foam and their styling butter together. And I still love this one, like seriously. But I've just been reaching for this one lately. But these are equally amazing, like seriously equally amazing sorry about the bottle <laughs> it's been through a lot because i really do use this like all the time but again lately i have been reaching for a lot of body so i didn't start this tutorial from the beginning with a two strand twist because i mean i have a million videos on two strand twists there's a million videos out there so i just wanted this to be the styling part of the video all right so first thing first i'm going to be using the tgin argan replenishing hair and body serum I'm going to coat my fingers with this just so I will not mess with the um, curls that we made. The first step, of course, you're going to unravel all your twists. And I really hope that my hair is dry.
Okay, so we're all done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up just this center section and I'm going to pull it up into kind of like a puff. So I don't want to pull that much hair up, just a little bit. And it really is this simple, this is how simple the style is. So about from your temples, you're going to pull this hair up into a puff. You might have to pull some of the center up a little bit too. And that's about it. I didn't even pull that much in the back. And you're just going to put your goodie hair band on just one time. And kind of just pull it. And this is going to be like a little puff right here. Start styling this because we want this to be kind of big. So give it some volume at the crown. But you still want the sides to hang lower and the back to hang low. So you need to make sure you don't mess with that too much. And don't mess with any of this front area right here because you want that to have the curl definition. So go ahead and pick it out to give your hair some shape. But keep in mind what parts you don't want to pick too much because you want them to have length and not so much body. You know what I mean? And then you can just finger style. Okay, so for the puff, you can use your pick here too to add some, some height and some thickness since it's not really that much hair. So you can use your pick to kind of tease it a little bit, but not too much because you do want it to remain defined. And loosen it up because you don't want it to be tight. And I personally like it to fall a little bit, again, on my forehead, because my forehead is big. So yeah, this is how simple this hairstyle is, you guys. I was hoping that it turned out equally as cute because like I said, yesterday's style was completely an accident. So I'm really loving this look and I honestly feel like it looks better today because it's bigger. You know, you know, as the days go by, our hair just grows. So I'm really loving this style. I hope you guys enjoy this quick tutorial with a bonus um, head scarf or head wrap tutorial as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye girls.